Hi, I'm Hazel, and this is a guide to the bosses of the Underwrought Dungeon of BFA. The Underwrought entrance is found here in Nazmir. If you're looking for it and feeling lost, find this four-way platform in the Heart of Darkness and follow the south path down. Elder Liaxa is our first boss, and in my opinion, her outfit is Transmog Goals. All of her abilities stack the Taint of Cahoon on her victims, which is a killer dot healing absorb combo that needs to be healed through. Doing mechanics properly will help prevent you from getting more tainted than you need to be. Bloodbolt is the only kickable cast of the fight, so you may as well kick it. Keeping interrupts on it will help to reduce the taint stacks going out, which helps your healer. I always recommend trying to earn brownie points with your healer like this, because you never know when you're going to need them. Blood Mirror summons adds who will also do Liaxa's mechanics. Switch and kill those ASAP to avoid getting too much taint. Creeping Rot is a green puddle that spawns under Liaxa and moves out in a line, doing damage and applying taint. That's easy enough to dodge when it's just one, but gets trickier if you have a bunch of blood effigies doing it, so stay on top of the adds. On Hurricane Hire, she'll cast Sanguine Feast. She ports to a player and casts a 4-yard AoE, which you want to get out of. Once you get into Mythic difficulty, each time she summons Blood Effigies, she'll summon one more than the time before. The Effigies will also all start casting Sanguine Feast in addition to Blood Bolt and Creeping Rot, just in case you weren't having fun yet. Kragma the Infested is up second, and he'd be cuter if he didn't have so many ticks. And teeth, he's got a lot of teeth. All of his abilities spawn Blood Tick Larva, which become Blood Tick adds if left alone for 8 seconds. To prevent that, go step on them. It's very gross and very effective. No clicking required, just walk over them. If the blood ticks do spawn, you want to kill them ASAP and watch out for their blood burst on Hurricane Hire. Kragma will charge to the location of a random player, doing a damage knockback combo and spawning blood ticks. Get out of the way and try to position relatively close to the boss during the fight so that the ticks he spawns with that aren't in the middle of nowhere. Indigestion is a cone attack aimed at the tank that of course spawns blood ticks. The tank should keep the boss aimed away from the group, the group should avoid wandering in front of the boss, and melee should help squash that set of ticks. On Heroic and Hire, Kragma likes to tantrum. He charges all over the arena at random, doing damage and spawning blood ticks. Spread out, do your best to squash as many as you can, and kill any ticks that manage to spawn. This whole fight can be summed up as dodge stuff and step on the squishies. Spore Color Zanja is third. Shockingly enough, he's going to call some spores. It's our job to make them go away. Boundless Rot summons green spore pods throughout the fight. Touching them makes them poof out decaying spores, which is a stackable disease dot. The spore pods will spawn throughout the fight, and the key to success is keeping their numbers down by using the rest of Zancha's abilities. Shockwave is one of those. He aims that at the tank, and it does big damage and destroys spores in a cone directly in front of him. The tank should stand with their back to clumps of spores, and everyone else should be out of the way. The shockwave does not extend out forever, so the tank will need to be relatively close to the spores in order to take them out. Upheaval targets random players, and after 6 seconds kicks them up and destroys pods within 8 yards. If you get that, run it near spores to destroy them. Be careful not to run into spores, that's less helpful. At 100 energy, Zancha casts Festering Harvest. That explodes all of his current spore pods and adds a decaying spore stack onto everyone for each mushroom popped. If you let the room get overrun with them, you're going to have a bad time. On Hurricane Hire, you'll also need to deal with Volatile Pods. Those are big red poofy mushrooms that swell up and pop, firing out orbs across the room. Getting hit by those will give you decaying spores, so do your best to dodge. Unbound Abomination is the last boss. On Mythic difficulty, he has a chance to drop the Krog Harness Mount. You can also get that out of the End Chest if you run Underrod on Mythic Plus. Now, you may notice that you're hitting him, and it's not doing much. Hitting the boss builds up his energy bar instead of doing damage, and at 100 energy he'll spawn Blood Visage adds. Killing those takes 17% health off the Abomination each. He'll cast Vile Expulsion, which is a cone attack aimed at a random player. It leaves behind Goo on the floor, so ideally try to be between him and a wall so that you don't eat up the whole floor with it. Putrid Blood is an unavoidable dot that will stack up on everyone throughout the fight. You can single target to spell someone to reset their stacks, and if you happen to have a priest handy, getting together for a master spell works wonders. Thankfully, there's one more solution just in case you're priestless. Titan Keeper Hezrel will be helping you out in this fight. I must say, he's got an excellent name, really great selection of letters there. He's got three things that he does, and only one of them really concerns you. He puts Cleansing Light onto a player, which removes Putrid Blood stacks and the Floor Goo within 10 yards. Get into that ring to drop your stacks if you can. The person with it should try to clean up some goo while also not running away from people who are trying to clear stacks. On Hurricane Hire, you'll also need to deal with rotting spores. The floor goo spawns spores that move towards players. If those touch someone, they do big damage, die, and leave behind more goo. If you kill them first, they will die and leave behind more goo. That goo, of course, goes on to eventually spawn more spores in the beautiful circle of goo life. Try to ping those down while they're already on top of covered areas. 
So that should get you through the underrod. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Leave a like for me if this helped you out and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.